Hey you guys, are y'all ready to learn how to do an offset in the hopefully most painless and easy way possible? Um, I know offsets are one of those things that make people want to just throw their machines out of the window because if you have Cricut, Cricut Design Space doesn't allow you to make an offset in their software and you have to therefore use an outside software which can be a pain. Um, I know a lot of people use apps on their phone. I'm not a big fan of those. They're very limited. And it can work in some instances, but you're really limited on what you can do with that. And then it does require a lot of extra steps rather than just getting a software that's made for it. Another option is Inkscape. Um, the pros of Inkscape, it is free and it does get the job done. The cons of Inkscape is it is a lot of unnecessary steps again and if you mess up in the middle, you kind of have to start over and it can be a confusing software. I personally do not like Inkscape at all. Um, the two softwares that I would recommend to create an inset or offset would be Sure Cuts A Lot or Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna do a video on both, but for this video, we're gonna do Sure Cuts A Lot. So let's go ahead and open Sure Cuts A Lot. Oh, another downfall of Inkscape is you can't use SVGs, so you lose all your size information too. Um, but with Sure Cuts A Lot, you are able to work in SVG, so you can keep all your size information and you don't, when you import back to the, uh, Cricut, you don't have to resize or anything like that. So once you open your cut slot, you can go to new project. Um, here, you can name your project however you'd like, mat size, you can pick it here. You can also change it in the software once you're in there, totally up to you. I have a 12 by 12 mat right now, and we're gonna press okay. Um, as you can probably see, it's very familiar to Cricut, uh, very similar to Cricut and similar to Silhouette. So that's another reason why I really like your cuts a lot, it's not, um, so different that you have to learn like this whole new thing. Um, so this one is just a, it's a really easy to use software. Okay, from here, we're gonna actually open our bracket frame keychain. Okay, to do that, we're just gonna go to file. We're gonna go to import. Um, desktop is where I have it saved, bracket frame. And uh, we wanna make sure we are choosing the SVG, okay, so that it'll be the correct size. Okay, once you open it, it's already going to be ungrouped. So I'm just moving that over there. And this is the keychain hole. I'm selecting it and just deleting it. That's all I'm doing right there. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and make a name with an offset on it. We're going to start with an offset. So we're going to select these two file, uh, these two images. And I want to layer them on top of each other so we can really see what we're working with. So right here, H align, horizontal align. We're going to click this middle one and then vertical align, we're gonna click that, and then all it's gonna do is layer those two things. If I had 10 images selected here, and I selected them all, and did the same thing, it would do the same thing with all 10 images. So this is just an easy way to get everything where you want it to be. Okay, you don't wanna resize this, because this keychain, this is a keychain file, and it's already the correct size. So if you wanna see it better, we're just gonna zoom in, okay? So we have our keychain and let's go ahead and type out a name. So we're getting our typing tool. We're just clicking on the mat and I am typing my name. And then we're gonna highlight it and we're gonna pick a font that's much cuter than this one. And we're gonna do beauty in the ordinary. I like that one. Okay, so here is my name. Um, just like any software, whenever you have uh, letters overlapping, let me zoom in so you can see that a little better. Go back to my arrow, see that L is overlapping that. We're gonna go ahead and fix that now so it doesn't cause us any trouble later. So we're gonna right click it and we are going to go to path and we're just gonna click union. All that does is, is it welds it all together. Okay, and let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, and then we are going to, oh, so sorry. All right, we are going to select this and we are just gonna put it over here and we're gonna click this little corner thing to kind of get an idea of sizing. We don't want it to be too large because we want to have room for that offset. Okay, that looks good. Okay, from here, we're gonna click that. We're gonna right click it, copy, 
and paste. Okay, all I'm doing is making another one of these because I wanna keep this original um, and make an offset with this one. Okay, so we have this one, we have it selected. All we're gonna do is go to path and then we are going to go to offset path and literally that is it. We have an offset. Um, you can slide this little thing to make it bigger or smaller as desired. We're gonna go right about there. That looks like a good size. Total optional. You can just slide that and define what you like and go with that. And we're gonna press OK. So now we have our, our offset. Let's go ahead and turn it um, black so we can see it better. Okay, and then from here, let's select everything. And we're gonna do our little trick over here, horizontal align. All it did was put it in a row and then vertical align, it layered it. Okay, so we're gonna move this over here and you, can, you can't see the green name, but I'm gonna show you why. All right, layers right here. We're gonna click this little arrow in this corner and this is the name that you can't see right now. We're gonna just slide that on top. Now you can see it. Um, it was just hidden under that layer. So anytime you can't see something, just open this layers tab and whatever's on top is gonna to show on top here. Whatever's underneath is gonna be underneath. So, so on and so forth. And there we go. We just made an offset of a name. And then you can save this as an SVG, open it in design space and then cut. So before we do that, I am going to actually show you another thing you can do in this software, which is the inset. Okay, so move that over there and let's take this and this. Okay, so we have our name with our offset. Let's do it where we have a really thin border um, around, like an outline around the acrylic. So if, oh, I keep doing that, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> if you uh, if you are familiar with our keychains, you know that the large black piece is the exact size of our acrylic. And then this is an inset that we include. Um, most of the, all the files already have an inset, but I'm gonna show you how to make an additional inset to create just a thin border around the edge. Okay, so we're gonna take our inset piece and we are going to copy it. And then we are going to paste it. So now we have a second piece that's identical to this. And then we are going to go to path, just like before. Oh, so sorry, let me make sure I got it. Path, and we are going to go to offset path. And it's gonna automatically make an offset, but we want an inset in this instance, or an internal offset. Um, so we're just gonna click this button right here. And you'll notice that it makes a black line where you can see where that off, or that internal offset is going to be and then you can just slide this as desired we're going to do it about right there and then press ok and then there you go there's a piece even smaller than this one um, so what we're going to do after that is we're going to click this and we're just going to turn it black so that you can see um, i'm using black to represent what is not being cut um, or like what is the actual acrylic so this will be weeded out same with this, like you can weed out that black area and just have the name, especially when this is over this, like this. You can just cut it just like that and weed out the black area, okay? So, let me show you what we just did. So we're gonna select all three pieces and we're gonna do our little trick over here again, horizontal align and vertical align. We want the center one and there we go. So now, we have all three pieces like that, and you can save this, and now you have this little outline that you can cut in Cricut. So from here, we're gonna go to File, we're gonna go to Export, and then we're gonna name it um, Cricut. Cricut Bracket, okay? I'm gonna save it to my desktop and we wanna save it as an SVG. You have other options, but an SVG. Also, if you have a brother scan and cut, you can save it for that too. All right, so SVG, save. All right, from here, you don't have to worry about this and you don't have to worry about this. If you click this, it's only gonna save whatever you have selected. So I it's best to leave that not, not selected. If you're gonna open it in design space, which most of you guys will, you can click this and all that does is make sure that it's saved as 72 DPI. 
in for vectors, um, which are line-based graphics such as these, it doesn't matter the DPI you use. It's not going to change the quality. But if you increase this at all, it's going to open too big in, in a design space. So in order for it to keep the correct sizing, click that. Or you can actually just leave it at 72 and it'll be correct. But we're going to go ahead and click that and press OK. All right. Now that's being saved and we are going to go ahead and open Cricut and we're going to go to upload. I'm going to click upload image, browse, and then I have it on my desktop and Cricut bracket and we want the SVG open. There's our image, save. All right, and we are going to click that, insert images. And then go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this too. This is the original keychain file. This is the file that we just made um, in Shortcut Slot. Okay, so we're gonna ungroup it. And then from here, you can decide, decide what you wanna cut and how you wanna cut it. If you wanna cut this on top of this, you certainly can, all you do, Layer that, um, let me ungroup the rest, sorry. Ungroup, send to back. Okay, select it all. And if we wanted to cut this, we would cut this just like so, and we would just weed out the part that's gonna be the black part. You don't have to do any welding or merging or anything like that. Just layer your image however you want it to look. And then once you, uh, once you cut it, you can just weed it as desired. So say you wanted to keep just the name and just this part, you just weed out that black part. Same thing with this. If you wanted to cut this and this together, it's into front. Okay. So say you wanted to cut this. You can literally cut this whole thing and just weed out what you don't want. You can weed out this black part, you can weed out that, that outside black part and be left with just this, um, this outline and the name. Totally up to you. The reason why I don't like to merge and weld and all of that stuff is sometimes I want to actually layer everything rather than weed it out. And if I, if I don't merge it, then I can still use it without having to edit it. So like, let's say I wanted to do this green and I want to put a green piece right there. And then I want to go back and do this a yellow. And then I can put that on top of there like that and get a three dimensional look and not weed out anything. I can just cut each of these pieces. So that just gives you some ideas, some examples. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll put a link below on where to get um, Sure Cuts A Lot. We have an affiliate link that I'll share below if you'd like to use that. Um, if not, I also will show you how to use Adobe Illustrator in another video. Um, and then again, you can always use Inkscape, but it's not nearly as easy. Um, and y'all let me know if you have any questions. I hope it was helpful and I hope y'all have an amazing night. Thank you. Bye.